What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Brood War ladder cast featuring Flash spawning down here in the bottom right hand corner. His opponent is Hyuk today. You know that we jump on all of these Flash replays as soon as they come out and this is a particularly special one. We've been watching a lot of Hyuk lately. He's been going up against tons of great players. Just check the past like 10 videos from the channel. I'm sure like three to four of them are of Hyuk. And he's been performing very, very well. He is an old school uh, Kespa era player. You know, he's been in those old pro leagues and he's competed in a lot of ASLs more recently. Eight, ASL 8, I believe, and ASL 12. And he's even beaten great players like Jadong and Savior in the past. But he is kind of known for as a history of throwing games. Just we haven't really seen that in his more recent play. He has really cleaned up, it seems. And has been showing us some great ZVT. So I'm really looking forward to see how Flash in his current form stacks up. I know that Flash at his peak level would definitely be able to beat Hyuk. But as you know, he's been returning to ladder. He's been returning to StarCraft just over the past few months. And you know, he's having a hard time adjusting to the newer metas um, in some cases. It took him a while to get uh, his feet under him when it came to uh, TVP, for example, but he's getting there now. Oh my god, oh, he almost got that kill. I really thought that Hyuk was about to murder that SCV, but he just couldn't quite make it happen. Builds one Marine here, Flash, and sends it across the map. He's just going to save this SCV, I think. So close, he gets it. Oh man. That was some fantastic micro from Hyuk. Flash doing the best that he can to try and do max damage to that first drone. Gonna force it back here. And it comes out and just starts to fight again. The ball's on this drone, actually. He is gonna go to mining now. Absolute hero in his own time. The fresh SCV gonna scout this main base. Sees the timing on the lair. Lings are going to pop out, though. Probably pick this off if the actual micro that we've seen so far from Yuck is any indication this is not going to last long. He's been really adamant about getting rid of this scouting SCV. First with the drone, and now he's doing a pretty good job of denying this SCV uh, with these lings. Let's see if he can get the kill on this. Eventually, you can trap it down here in the bottom side if you keep uh, on the top end of the SCV. It's pretty easy to Keep pushing it down and down and down and eventually get it into a position where you can kind of trap it against the wall. It needs to mineral walk through the SCVs and you can put a lot of damage, or through the links and then you can put a lot of damage on it. Looks like he's going to do that now. Almost picking this off. Let's go have a look at Flash's base though. He's opened up with a plus one rush here. Very popular build right now. And counterintuitively, I believe at this point that that plus one rush is most popular because of actually the plus one armor that comes so quickly after this. You're going to be able to hit that plus one. <clears throat> excuse me. You're going to be able to hit that plus one timing with the attack as the mutas are coming in. Or uh, as you're dealing with the mutas. And then as soon as the lurkers start to pop out, you're going to have that plus one armor, which allows the... Marines to tank an extra lurker spine and it just allows you a lot of power in busting down Zerg players if they're being a little bit too greedy, if they just don't have quite enough lurkers uh, at their third base or their natural. So I think that's the real reason why this build is so powerful right now. He is going into four racks, which is the standard follow up with that very early plus one. We're going to get plus one air weapons here. No surprise there. Um, Hyuk has been showing some amazing mutilus control. It seems like he really knows when to dive in and when to pull back. How to deal with these marine medic clumps. And I'm sure that he's going to put on a good show for us here. 
We've got the first few mutas popping, and as in usual, uh, plus one rush fashion, Flash has not been able to force any additional sunken colonies at all, and that's kind of the the thing that you give up as the Terran player to get this really fast plus one. You get the very early eBay, but you don't have the two medics and uh, you know six to eight marines to come over here and put that pressure on force the sunken colonies out so we're always going to have to deal with six mutas immediately going up to you know seven eight mutas right off the bat because we can't force it force any minerals into those defensive units or defensive structures getting into this pocket right now is a pretty deadly spot to be he's getting quite a few kills and even lings are going to run by but back at home, you know, things are getting a little bit dangerous. He's going to fly straight through all these turrets. He actually could have flown out this way. It would have been a lot less damaging to him. But there's the Marines breaking into his natural right now. Flash is just going for this. Does manage to pick off a couple of Marines here at the front. But the sunken colonies are getting very low. This is dangerous. One sunken finishes. The second one finishes as well. He's just going to dive right on top of this. And it feels like, yep, will hold. That is a huge deal right now. Flash is actually quite far behind at this point. He's lost quite a few SCVs. And Hyuk managed to come back just in the nick of time to save his skin with those mutilists in the natural. If he had been just seconds slower making his way back. So maybe it was the right call to just fly straight through the turrets. If you fly this way even, you might have just a couple of seconds more time on your return flight and you know flash might have done critical damage but as it stands he is in a very good spot 29 workers at 32 the only problem is these four marines managed to slip out on the map and they could make their way into this space and if they do yuck is going to be in some trouble he'll probably lose every drone at that base if he had one sunken colony here that just wouldn't happen, but he's trying to optimize the best that he can against Flash right now. And Flash is sending in those Marines. This is a big moment here, guys. One Overlord might be going down as well. Oh boy. This is going to be bad for Hyuk. Getting some really good kills here. You can just see the perfection of his micro. The way that he's dragging those Marines and just pulling them apart. But the four Marines making their way in here is deadly. This is going to cost him so dearly he's actually fighting with the drones a little bit and maybe should just run away yeah he's gonna pull and run but the mutas are taking a very long time getting here and there's not much space left in this main base to run to one more drone gonna go down he's gonna save only one drone in this base that's really really rough so much damage from just these four marines almost critical damage here being done to Hyuk. If, if Hyuk hadn't done so well with the earlier micro and killing SEVs and uh, dealing with that initial bio ball, bio ball he would be in uh, probably just a straight up losing position. But as it stands, I think he's still somewhat okay. Now he just missed, he barely missed that huge army heading out on the map. And that is really scary. Looks like he's going to catch it with the lurker egg. That's a very important spot here. Uh, if he hadn't seen that, he would have lost this hatchery for sure. Now he's got a little opportunity to maybe come up here and stop this, but he's actually going to go with a counter. Lurkers are coming down here. This lurker is going to morph and come down here as well. He's going to try to break the front. Flash realizes it. He's instantly throwing down a bunker here. He knows that with the kill on that third base, he's in a fantastic spot. He just needs to survive any counter attack and here it comes he's gonna run up lurkers burrowing there is one missile turret here but he can hit it i think this is getting hit no it's not i thought the spines yeah spines are hitting this he is hitting it with one of these lurkers so uh now that the supply depot is gone it won't be hit anymore it's down to 50 hp but we have two comm sets we have two comm sets we have plenty of marines in these bunkers so he should be okay nice spread and split there from flash oh boy this is gonna get cleaned up but losing a bunch of lurkers there is pretty rough right now for Hyuk. let's take a look at the uh tech coming out 
Wow, Greater Spire and Defiler Mound from Hyuk. That's kind of crazy. We have a bunch of drones spawning here, and this hatchery is about to be done. So we will get on the three gas soon. But making Guardians and Lurkers and Defilers all at the same time is quite expensive. Evolution Chamber coming up. He's going to try and start plus one as well. Plus one armor. I feel like you just have to win right now. By the time plus one armor is done, I think the game should probably be over, but we'll see. Marines trying to push out here. They're going to try and get the best arc that they can on these lurkers. Lurkers are holding their own, though, and he's going to focus down this tank now. The tank gets picked off, and the Marines get shoved back. Is there anything in these bunkers? Four Marines in this one bunker, but all the others are empty. He's managed to hold Flash in his base for maybe long enough where he can actually start to make some a few of these guardians and really put the turn the screw when it comes to this containment here against flash well flash is trying to push out he's dealing a little bit of damage to these lurkers and forcing them back these are going to come out to deal with that but now flash is unleashed he had to pull back too far flash has an opening here to move out guardians are being made but they're right in the face the face of Flash. Flash is going to push forward here, and the Guardians may not even finish. One of the Guardians very, very low. It's a double-edged sword making... Oh, oh, God, here's a Dark Swarm. He gets one Dark Swarm right in the face of Flash, but it's only one Lurker underneath. These are going to run by. That's a double-edged sword making it out of such a low health uh, muta, but it does survive. And this one Guardian can actually clean up everything. Hold up. This is such a close hold here. There's two lurkers underneath this now. The guardians are actually not going to help against units under Dark Swarm, so it's kind of a self counter, but at least the guardians will be able to pick off a tank. Maybe they can hold the ground here long enough for Yun to get some more units into the front line here. He does get another defiler up to the front. More lings are going to come out and probably just deal with this. Oh, that fire bat. Good God, that fire bat did so much damage. He loses the defiler. That's really, really painful at this point. Two wraiths coming out as well. Flash is eventually going to make those wraiths as soon as he sees that you're trying to build guardians. It's just the natural counter. He is getting to mining here at this third gas, but he's been controlling so heavily. I'm not surprised that he wasn't mining that a little earlier. More hatcheries coming down. He's going to probably have to go into Hydra Defiler. I think that's the only choice. And yeah, Hydra upgrades are on the way. Three gas is just... It's very hard to fight a Terran. Uh, when you only have three gases mining, you, it really requires some incredible cost efficiency to be able to survive against a Terran on two bases when you've only got three gases. So he's going to be relying on... Big plagues landing and lots of hydras rather than, you know, maxing out on lurker, ling, and then eventually into ultra. We're probably not going to see ultra this game. Taking a fourth base right now is kind of out of the question for Hyuk. I don't think he can make it happen. That's a lot of fire bats heading up north and two vessels along with it. He has enough for a plague. This is a great time to get a plague down, but I think that Flash will split this. All right, that's a pretty bad plague. I think I would have gone for the uh, the two vessels there um, more than the fire bats that can be healed up pretty easily. But he is hanging on. He's still alive. Flash is going to transition, it looks like. Thinking about putting out some battle cruisers. I don't think that's the right choice against Hydra's Defiler. We'll see what Flash ends up doing with these. If he's really going to control them well and try to use them to deny gases, you can't really deny gases. There's no real spot. I guess you can sort of hit the mineral patches here, but you can definitely build spores back here. Like one can definitely go there for sure. I, don't, I just don't know if there's a good spot on this map to utilize Battle Cruiser, and especially against uh, Hydra Defiler. It's going to be hard. Groove Spines on the way. We're almost at those two upgrades. They're so critical for Hydralisks to become effective, but 
the radiates are coming out and getting huge value for our Terran and Flash is going to move backwards through the map try to catch him in the middle here on the retreat see if he can get a big plague oh he doesn't have energy for a plague no energy for a plague here and so he has to consume that uh, hurt defiler or hurt uh, lurker excuse me the irradiated lurker and now he gets the plague down he's actually doing a lot of damage with so few units he will clean up everything all the marines end up going down some medics do escape and the vessels are gonna traverse their way back home targeting those down is uh, would be fantastic but taking that good of a trade i think yuck is going to be very very happy with some hydras here in the main as the battle cruisers come in i don't think that yuck is going to expect that and it might catch him a little bit off guard as he's sending out his whole army right now going across the map um he might get caught here with some hydras this is not good he can't be losing hydras like this defiler's going to come forward big plague on this no he doesn't have the plague energy battle cruisers are coming into the main right now and Yuck is very busy at the moment, you know, getting ready for this plague. Okay, he gets the Great Plague, but is he paying attention to these attacks into his main? And his third, actually, is being harassed as well. Hydras are just popping out here, but he's losing drones at home. Uh oh this could be really bad for Yuck. He's actually pushing in right now and fighting against this army pretty well, but he's going to start to lose drones in the main if he's not careful. Bringing back some Hydras. Need a defiler with this as well. Fighting on two fronts. We're going to go picture in picture here. As the hydras start to get cleaned up. We've only got a few defilers left over here. GG is called. Wow. The defiler. Uh, the <laughs> oh, excuse me. The battle cruisers are actually coming in clutch here. Seven and four kills on these. And this is not what I expected at all hydra defiler is so good against battle cruiser you can cast plague on these you drop one dark swarm and put one hydra under that and the battle cruisers really can't do much uh you know three four hydras you'll actually end up killing the battle cruisers really really quick and they can't really do a lot of damage but he just kind of rallied all of his hydras out he didn't send a defiler back home uh, or build one at home to defend against this and he lost control of his main completely. That is really unfortunate, man. I think Flash just kind of recognizing what is Hyuk's weak point is that, you know, he's very good at uh, attacking and being aggressive. But as soon as you get into his bases and start uh, dealing damage to him, and he has to micro on multiple fronts he sort of falls apart like he had to just let go of this base earlier which was honestly the big turning point in this game where flash really took the lead was when Hyuk lost that base and he wasn't able to you know do a big counter attack even if you do a counter attack as the zerg player and you kill the natural you kill the natural but you can't get into the main it's still not exactly a win for Zerg. Like, you can still come back as Terran. As long as you just keep producing. The Zerg is on two gases. They're on two bases. You on one base as a Terran player can build up, start to get vessels out, and eventually, you know, float that command center back or build another command center, land it here, and get your mining going once again at the natural and come out and be really really strong and have a decent position it's not it's definitely not the end of the game but if you're not able if, as a zerg player to kill this and you lose your third the position becomes really really tough bit unfortunate of a result there yuck maybe needing to practice like spreading his his mutas remember he had his mutas up here and he sent them back across the map and Flash's army went just around the edge of his vision. If he spreads his mutas just using shift click to find that mutalist ball out on the map, he would have been in a much better position. I have a really hard time with this as well, guys, in my games. I have a really hard time. Another thing you can do is just put one ling in front of the base so that you can see when things are moving out. One ling right here. He had the overlord over here. If he puts one ling there, he would have seen this marine medic ball moving. And then he would have known to search around the map for it. But 
He just didn't see it coming. He had no idea until it... I think there was a Lurker over here, actually. Lurker Egg right here that spotted that Bio Ball moving in and he realized he wasn't going to be able to make it in time. This is a pretty good display of Flash's true skill at this point in 2024. Um, September 9th, I believe this was played, so very, very recent. I'm really excited to see him play up against even more skilled Zerg players. Like, I want to see a Flash versus Soul Key. Hit the like button if you want to see that as well, guys. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.